Today, I will present our work, Linear Time Stable PD Controllers for Physics-Based Character Animation. Physics-Based Character Animation has a wide range of applications, including video games, movies, and robotics. Physics simulation enables the character motion to be physically plausible and responsive. Physics-based character control techniques have made significant progresses in recent years, from handcrafted controllers such as Simbicon to sampling-based controllers like Samcon, then to neural network controllers able to track motion capture data, including Deep Mimic and models trained from kinematic motion generators. In physics-based character control, PD controllers are most commonly used to model joint actuators. Given a target, joint force can be computed based on errors between current joint angle and the target angle. These type of PD controllers are simple, but numerically unstable with high gains and usually require extreme small simulation time steps. Stable PD or SPD controllers improve stability of standard PD controllers by employing the idea of implicit integration. Instead of computing control forces based on the current state, SPD formulates PD controls using the state at the next simulation time step. Since next states are unknown, they are approximated by the first-order Taylor expansion. By substituting equation 3 and 4 into equation 2, we get the final practical SPD formula showing in equation 5. In practice, this SPD formulation allows for fairly high gains at large time steps. SPD has been widely adopted to control articulated characters to achieve stable tracking control. In our work, we focus on SPD formulated in a reduced coordinate articulation system, or Featherstone's articulations. To control an articulated rigid body system, like a humanoid figure, we first need to write down SPD control force formula in vector form shown in equation 6. To solve for the unknowns, we need to combine equation 6 with equation 7 which is the full body equations of motion. Accelerations can then be solved from equation 8. Solved accelerations can be directly sent to forward simulation, or if we want to get the actual control forces tau, we can substitute acceleration back into either equation 6 or 7 to achieve this. In current research community, SPD is directly solved by numerical methods. Direct matrix inversion is simple, but may not be the best choice. A better approach is to apply Kolesky factorization to m plus kd delta t, since this matrix is symmetric positive definite. This method has a cubic running time. Another approach is to exploit branch-induced sparsity and apply a sparse matrix factorization. This approach has a better running time depending on the depth of the kinematic tree. Specifically, this method takes n d squared time where d is the maximum number of degrees of freedom among all branches of the articulation tree. It's still cubic time in worst case when the tree becomes a chain. To the best of our knowledge, we are the first to implement the sparse factorization method for SPD computation. In our experiments, we found that SPD computation under conventional implementations can significantly slow down the simulation. To mitigate this problem, we propose Modified Articulated Body Algorithm, or MABA, for SPD computation, which runs in linear time. Our proposed method is practically fast and achieves superior stability. It is also easy to code on top of Articulated Body Algorithm, or ABA, for forward dynamics computation. This figure shows an intuitive performance comparison of our methods and conventional cubic time methods. In a single CPU thread, our method supports simulation of 
much more characters when using the largest time step to achieve stable tracking. The fundamental intuition of our algorithm comes from the fact that forward dynamics and SPV computation share the same problem structure. Written in closed form, both of these problems are simply a system of linear equations about the annoying joint accelerations. Both of these problems are easily solved by direct numerical methods like Kolesky factorization, which runs in cubic time. To solve simple forward dynamics, linear time methods like ABA are already well developed and adopted in simulation engines. When equations of motion is combined with SPD constraints, vanilla ABA is not going to work because of a different effective mass matrix, namely M plus KD delta T. However, it can be shown that if we rederive ABA while taking SPD constraints into consideration, we can still achieve linear time complexity for SPD computation. The rederived ABA is just our modified articulated body algorithm. The efficiency of ABA and MABA come from the use of recurrence relations, where the n by n closed form equations of motion is never explicitly solved. Specifically, ABA makes three passes to the kinematic tree. The first pass is outward where link velocities and single body bias box terms are computed from root to leaves. The second pass is inward where articulated body inertias and bias forces are computed from leaves to root. The third pass is outward again for computing link and joint accelerations. Our proposed MABA shares the same problem structure with ABA with three similar tree traversals since it's simply ABA with SPD constraints enforced. Next, we state without derived recurrence relations for these three passes and present the changes we need from ABA to our proposed MABA. We omit all necessary coordinate transforms for simplicity and a complete description of our algorithm can be found in our paper. The first pass of MABA is identical to that of ABA. In this pass, we compute auxiliaries including link velocities and bias forces including centrifugal, coriolis, and external forces. Velocities are accumulated from root to leaves. Once velocities are computed, various forces for each individual link can be computed by cross products. Note that we are working with spatial quantities, which are 6D vectors, including both translational and rotational motion. Detailed explanations of spatial quantities can be found in Featherstone's books and tutorials. In the second pass, we compute articulated body inertia and bias force from leaves to root. As a result of integrating SPD constraints inside ABA, some minor changes are required for computing articulated body inertias and bias forces. More specifically, extra quantities Ki and Qi are involved in the calculation. These quantities are SPD related, where Ki is damping coefficient matrix times the time step, and Qi contains the known parts of the SPD control forces. In the third pass, we accumulate both link and joint accelerations from root to leaves. The only change in this pass is that we need to insert SPD-related quantities Ki and Qi into the formula for computing joint accelerations. In practice, the easiest way to implement MABA is to directly modify ABA code in the simulation engine according to the necessary changes we have listed in previous slides. Most commonly used simulation engines have ABA already in place, like Dart, Bullet, or Physics. Such implementation is simple and clean, which is essentially a two-line code modification. Under such implementation, the only cost comes from the computation of Ki and Qi terms 
which is negligible comparing to the whole simulation process. This implementation generally makes MEBA work naturally with common constraint solvers without further code modification. Next, we evaluate our algorithm by comparing it with conventional SPD computation methods, including dense factorization and sparse factorization. We denote these two methods by DF and SF respectively for shorthand. We will evaluate different SPD algorithms in terms of simulation performance, stability, and DRL training speed. We use a re-implemented version of DeepMimic as our DRL training framework. Here we use NVIDIA physics as our simulation engine with some moderate powerful CPU and GPU. Five characters of different complexity are involved in our experiments. Humanoid and dog are commonly used for character animation, and snakes are used to analyze worst-case complexity of factorization methods, since they have maximum possible depths. In this experiment, we evaluate the runtime performance of different SPD computation algorithms. Here, we use SPD to track predefined motion capture clips and measure the simulation FPS. Note that a hand of God root tracking force is also applied to the character to make it fully actuated. We visualize the performance by real-time simulation videos. As the model complexity grows, MABA shows better advantage over conventional methods due to its linear time complexity. In the snake case, we can see that MABA outperforms other methods significantly. SF performs worse here than DF due to necessary costs for sparse factorization. The following table show the simulation FPS data, where we can see performance advantage of MEBA in all test cases. This table shows the percentage of cores required by SPD computation module. We can see that conventional SPD can take a significant portion of total simulation time on most models while well, MABA incurs negligible cost in all cases, regardless of model complexity. We compare stability of different SPD implementations by the same quasi-physics tracking task. The following figures show SPD tracking error under different models and time steps. Tracking error is measured by relative distance from root to one of the end effector. From this figure, we can see that DF and MABA show nearly equal stability on humanoid model for all tested time steps. On the dog model, MABA shows its superior stability when time step gets larger. The green curves show the case when time step is 1 over 120 second. DF shows visibly larger error than MABA. For the red and orange curves, where time step is greater than 1 over 60 seconds, DF causes the simulation to explode, while MABA remains stable. This video shows the tracking result when time step is 1 over 120 seconds. The tracking artifacts for matrix factorization method can be seen clearly. When we use 1 over 30 second time step, matrix factorization method explodes quickly while MABA remains stable. Our previous experiments are quasi-physics in nature. Here we show some true physics demonstrations. We compare training speed of deep mimic under different SPT implementations. We train a running motion on humanoid and a cantering motion on dog. Our training curves suggest some noticeable improvements. 
Here we visualize intermediate training results under different SPD implementations. Within the same amount of training time, character trained with MABA lives longer and get more rewards. We show the result of the same experiment on the dog model. To conclude, we have presented a modified articulated body algorithm for SPD computation of articulated rigid body systems parameterized in generalized coordinates. We showed that our method runs in linear time, which is the theoretical minimum, and the algorithm is also practically fast. We also showed the superior stability of our method and the improvement to a DRL-based animation system. Since SPD controllers are fundamental components in many time-critical or time-consuming systems, such as computer games and DRL-based algorithms, our proposed algorithm could potentially benefit a wide range of applications and research. One limitation of our implementation is that control forces are never explicitly calculated. Applications requiring control forces to be monitored and tailored before forward simulation need a standalone version of the algorithm, which is slightly less efficient but still linear time. One possible future work is to investigate linear time SPD controllers for articulations parameterized in full coordinates. Such an algorithm should be developed on top of linear time forward dynamics algorithm in full coordinates such as Barov's method via Lagrange multipliers. It is also interesting to explore parallel algorithms for solving SPD, so that GPU acceleration can be utilized. This is the end of our presentation. We thank Jie Tan, Michael Van der Pen, and the anonymous reviewers for their constructive feedback on earlier drafts of our paper. Thank you for listening.